Welcome to the Siemen Corporation's FiberType video training series. This segment will outline the steps required to properly set up an auto welder and perform and verify the integrity of a test weld. Siemen Corporation mandates safety first in following all safety precautions as required by federal, state, and local standards, as well as those required by your company. The equipment requirements are the auto welder and weights, 200 feet of 10 gauge power cord, a wire brush, hand roller, seam probe, and lumber crayon. The power requirements are a three-prong plug with twist locking ends, 220 volts with 30 amps from a dedicated 5,000 watt generator. First, we recommend all three weights be attached. Clean the wheel assembly with a clean cotton rag to remove any debris. Clean the nozzle before and after each use using a wire brush. Set the test temperature to 1148 degrees Fahrenheit. Set the test speed to 10 feet per minute. Align two 12 inch by 10 foot membrane pieces with a six inch offset. Clean using acetone and white cotton rags if necessary. Insert the nozzle between the membrane pieces. Make the test pass and allow the membrane to cool to ambient temperature. A proper weld will exhibit the shredding of the fibers. This shredding is the breaking of the yarns, which knit the weft and machine direction fibers. The good test weld will shred, revealing a continuous one and one half inch weld. Adjust the temperature and speed as needed to create a consistent, good, shredded weld. Proceed with the welding process, cleaning the nozzle before and after each run. As a minimum, test welds are to be performed at each startup of the auto welder. Finally, probe and repair all seams prior to the end of each workday.